hello guys in this video and some upcoming videos i'm gonna give you a brief overview of the collections module in python so the collection module basically um, contains um, the implementation of several specialized container data types in python so you must already be knowing about the default um, container data types in python which are list dictionary tuples sets etc right so collections module provides you a very specialized set of data type containers which are very useful in several conditions and in this video we are going to talk about counter so counter is a specialized data type container which is implemented through the collections module in python and what it does is it gives you a frequency table of any given sequence object so let's say you are given a list um, like this one okay so let's say you are given a list right and one element is repeating many number of times so what i want to do here is that i want to make a frequency table out of this list that is i want to make something like a dictionary in which the keys are these elements and their corresponding values are their frequencies in this list right so that is what i want to do so one way to do is simply make a dictionary and then just make them make some loop and then iterate over it but a good shortcut is to use the collections uh, the collect collection modules counter here okay so let's see how to do that so i'm gonna import um, counter from collections so collections is a built-in module so you do not need to download anything or install anything extra so now all you need to do is simply create a counter object that's it and now if i try to see c look at that it is a kind of a dictionary in which the key values in which the keys are the elements of the list and the values are the frequencies of the elements in the list so let's say i want to check the frequency of one in my list a then I simply do C1 and I get the value 2, right? And similarly, if I do 3, I get 3, right? So this is a very simple frequency table that we have just created by just writing a single line of code. And it's very useful in several kind of situations. And yeah, it's pretty useful to know it. So that's it from this video. And we'll be covering some more specialized data types in upcoming videos. So thanks for watching.